Hello subscribers and watchers, this is Wibs from SlideNerd here. In this video, I'm going to talk about the list fragment in Android. Now if you guys are new to this, please go back and check the videos on the list activity and the list view because what I'm going to talk here is basically an extension of what I have discussed so far. So let's get started. This is a list fragment. You have some data that you want to show in the form of a list and the user can pick some item from this list. So to display that, to put the data, you use a list adapter. Now the idea of list views and adapters has been something I've discussed already in my previous videos about list view. If you guys haven't seen that, please go back and check it out. So array adapter or the simple adapter is a class that you can use for arrays and you can use the simple cursor adapter class for reading data from a cursor. Use the on activity created method to link the data to the adapter and create the appearance. Now this own activity created if you guys remember is a method that tells you that the activity has finished executing its own create method. Now why would you need that? Because it is the activity's own create method where you call the set content view and the UI has been inst instantiated. And you want to make sure inside your fragment that you access the UI only after it has been instantiated by the activity fully. And that is the reason why you use this method. So the default appearance is provided automatically. However, if you do want custom appearance, you can go ahead and define that inside your own create view method. So now let's see a simple strip of code to understand how this adapter thing works. So have the def step define the data that can be a string data ABC create the adapter. Again, I have discussed about the syntax of the adapters and stuff in my other videos on my list view previously. So here you simply have the first parameter as get activity, which is the context. And the second parameter is the appearance of a single row or you can say a single item inside your list view. And if you guys are not sure about what this file contains, well, it just contains a text view. And like I said, I have exposed the contents of this file in my other videos. And the third parameter is the data itself. So as you guys can notice, what we are trying to do here is we simply take the data and we specify some appearance for the data and we are actually creating the appearance over here, right? And then we simply set the adapter by calling set list adapter. And of course, I had after this, you can go ahead, set the on item click listener to handle the response and stuff. So how to create a custom layout? Well, you need to have a separate XML file that has a list view. But what you need to do is ensure that this list view has an ID, Android ID list. Now this is important because the fragment is going to try and find a list view with this ID. And if it doesn't find it, your app is gonna crash. And the second thing which is optional and you can do is have a text view with this ID, Android ID empty. Now why would you need this? If you're downloading the data for your list view from an HTML parsing or you can say JSON parsing or XML parsing kind of stuff, you wanna ensure that the user sees a message when no data has been found, right? Like for example, your network has gone off or there's simply no data on the web service. You wanna notify your user that the list view can, does not have any data inside that. And for that, you have this text view with a special ID which is displayed only when the list view is empty. So to create, to inflate this layout, you can use the on create view method and there you perform the inflation. So now that you guys have seen how the list fragment works basically from a high level, in the next video, we are going to go to Android Studio and work this out. In the meantime, if you guys did like this video, then like the video, comment on the video and let me know your thoughts. Share this video with whoever you find needy and support us in any way you can. Thank you very much. I'll catch you guys in the next vid. Have a nice day.